Welcome to Bama Bug Fest on the Web, a virtual event dedicated to the fascinating world of insects. Bama Bug Fest on the Web is a collaborative event brought to you by UA Museums, the Mildred Westervelt Warner Transportation Museum, the Alabama Museum of Natural History, the Department of Research and Collections at the University of Alabama, UA's Rogers Library, and the Tuscaloosa Public Library. We are offering nine total days of bug-themed content starting July 7th and ending on July 25th. For a full schedule of events, you can visit the event website at BamaBugFest.org. And uh, today, we're going to sort of introduce everybody to what we're doing with Bama Bug Fest on the web. Uh, so how should we get started with that today? Hey, well, I'll introduce myself. Um, I'm Dr. John Friel. I'm the director of the Alabama Museum of Natural History. And our other uh, speaker today will be Ali Sorley, the museum's education outreach coordinator. So we want to do... This is kind of unusual times. Uh, normally we were planning a single day a public event, but we've had to adjust things a little bit. So what you're seeing today is kind of our virtual um, Bama Bug Fest, which we're really excited about because it's actually given us some great ideas for virtual content. Um, so today we just want to give you a basic introduction to why having a bug, why we should have a bug theme festival, the kind of activities we have planned, uh, various contests, um, artwork, all kinds of things you can you and your family can participate in. Um, so without further ado, we'll begin that. So Rebecca, can you go ahead and share my screen? Yeah, you are good to go. Yep. Let me see if that's come up yet. All right. Can't tell. Is that sharing yet, Rebecca? Yes, sir. It is ready to go. Give it a moment here. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we, we can see it on our end. So just let us know when you're ready to go. Let's see it. Oh no! Okay. Oh so, no! Hang on one second. <laughs> <laughs> we lost John. He'll be he'll be back. Um, but Ali, I guess. Uh, oh, I, there he is. Oh, I'm back. There, there we go. It's live. There it is. All right. Uh, so if you can share your screen again. Yep. There it goes. There we go. All right. So that's All right. Me. Do you see it now? Um, I, I'm assuming I can. Here, let me just switch around. But I'll assume if, if it doesn't go off again, just let me know. I'm looking yeah. at. Uh, as a PowerPoint presentation on my office computer. Yeah, Anyhow, yeah, we can see it. You're good to go. Great. Okay, well, everybody, um, welcome to the, our, our little presentation, the Bama Bug Fest. Uh, here is our cool logo. Um, this is actually the logo we came up with last year featuring uh, our charismatic uh, elephant stag beetle. Um, but this year we've kind of uh, embellished it a little bit with spider webs because we're doing this all virtual this year instead of having our normal uh, public uh, event that we'd be having uh right on Jack Warner Parkway down at the uh, Transportation Museum and Public Library. Um, and the first thing I wanted to point out is that um, people say a bug festival, that's really weird, I've never heard of one of those. There are actually a number of bug festivals. Um, we are actually probably one of the, mo the most recent additions. Uh, a lot of them could go back, there's been a bug bowl going on at Purdue University for over 30 years, which is kind of the original uh, bug themed event. Um, and I just pulled off a few logos I found online. So this is something that occurs uh, all over, often associated with natural history museums, uh, sometimes with universities, entomology departments. So it's a thing, and Alabama didn't have one. So this is um, an event that we decided there was a need for in the state of Alabama. Uh, thus, we created uh, Bama Bug Fest. And a little background on the history of the Bama Bug Fest. Um, I've been at uh, the University of Alabama a little over five years now, and soon after I got here, uh, I got really interested in local insects, particularly moths. And I initially started uh, something we called Moth Fest, which was tied into uh, an annual event that happens uh, in July every year called National Moth Week, where um, we encourage people to go out and observe moths, whether it's in their backyard or a local park. So we started as a little festival. The first year we had it was 2016 at Mountville Archaeological Park, and it was just basically the natural history staff running it. And I think the first year we had about 75 people that came out. It was a nighttime event with lights set up to attract insects. We did that again in 2017, uh, doubled the number of participants, and then in 2018, we decided, well, let's see if we move it to Tuscaloosa, whether we might get some more people. So that's the first year we worked with our partners at the Transportation Museum, which is one of the public museums uh, run by the University of Alabama Museums. And that was a big success. And we had, about, I think, about a little over 300, 350 people showed up. Um, and then in 2019, we had a really kind of transformation. We decided, you know, this was so popular in Tuscaloosa, I bet if we expanded the content and made it more inclusive, not only for moths, 
but included all bugs and arthropods. Uh, let's see what we could do with it. So thus, uh, Bama Bug Fest was launched, and that was the first year we worked with uh, the Tuscaloosa Public Library, which is adjacent to the Transportation Museum right along the Riverwalk area in Tuscaloosa. And then here we are in 2020. Uh, this year, we've had to adjust, obviously, uh, because of the COVID pandemic, and we're doing an online virtual festival. And uh, it's given us uh, an opportunity to kind of be really creative, actually invite people that we couldn't necessarily have participate in Tuscaloosa. And we've expanded our partners. This year, we're actually working with the University of Alabama Libraries, uh, some additional departments um, at the University of Alabama, like the UA Museums Research and Collections. So it really is a team effort. And Ali will probably plug it a little bit, some of our team members and the content they've been generating. Um, last year, we had a great event. Um, some of you hopefully got to see some of the artwork. Here's a great, I love this collage. This, this was actually a three-dimensional piece made of actual mounted insect specimens and arthropod specimens that John and Kendra Abbott uh, uh, put together and we had on display at the Warner Transportation Museum last year. So we've always had kind of an art part of our event and we'll continue that virtually this year. We also had all kinds of really neat hands-on uh, activities, which we unfortunately can't do this year, but hopefully in the future, uh, during safer times, we can do this again. Here's some pictures from the Tuscaloosa News uh, of last year's event. We had all kinds of live insects. In the background there, you can see some of the Abbott's photography. Uh, they're also uh, incredible photographers. So we had artwork on the walls, um, those live pinned exhibit displays, as well as live examples of insects and arthropods. Um, we had um, all kinds of cool activities. Two of our most popular ones were the cricket spitting contest. Uh, this is something that actually started at the Purdue Bug Bowl, uh, where we encourage people to see who can spit a dead cricket the farthest. So these are, are live crickets that have been humanely euthanized by freezing them. They're thought out. And uh, last year we had this event and we gave out prizes for uh, different age groups, whoever could spit that uh, dead cricket the farthest. And then the other popular event we had was our cockroach tractor pull, where we had hissing cockroaches pulling miniature John Deere tractors on a little raceway. And again, it was a really popular uh, attraction that we had hundreds of people cheering for their favorite uh, cockroach tractor. And then the last thing I want to touch on is kind of why, why should we have a Bama Bug Fest? And this is really kind of what sparked our interest in doing this. Uh, the first is we simply want to celebrate the biodiversity, both globally and locally, of bugs, or in, in the broader sense, arthropods. I'll be talking later today, in fact, actually what bugs are, so you have a better idea of what they are if you don't already. Um, I also want to, I have a really passion, and Natural History Museum staff does, for generating public interest and learning more about the nature around us. We live in an incredibly biodiverse state, and this is just a great opportunity uh, to focus on because there are literally bugs everywhere. Everyone has them in their homes. Uh, even if you have uh, taken pest control measures, they're definitely in our backyards. Um, so this is an opportunity to learn some more about them because they're not all pests. Uh, we also want to counter counteract the bad reputation most bugs have in our culture. Typically, when you read something in the news about bugs, it's something bad, either a new disease, um, something that uh, bugs that are pests of our food or crops. Um, but that's only a really small percentage of bugs. So we want to take this opportunity to remind people that most bugs are actually incredibly helpful. And we'll be repeating that theme throughout our events. Uh, we also want to uh, promote the important services that bugs provide us. Uh, bugs pollinate most of our crops. Um, many people eat bugs, and actually, none of you have probably eaten bugs. If you've ever eaten a shrimp, a crab, a crayfish, you've eaten, in fact, bugs. And we'll talk a little bit more about that through some of our programming. We also want to promote the many ways in bugs are used by humans. Uh, we have a presentation uh, later on uh, uh, in our event about uh, silk. Uh, silk comes from insects. Uh, a lot of dyes, natural dyes, come from insects, so you'll be learning about that as well. And also, bugs are just incredibly beautiful. Uh, I already showed you a few images of some bug imagery. You'll see definitely more throughout the event. And finally, um, I really love the intersection of bugs and art, particularly in our culture. So uh, we'll be touching a lot on, and hopefully we'll nurture your appreciation and of the inspiration that bugs play in both art and popular culture. Um, and the biggest reason is really that bugs are everywhere. Bugs are by far the most speciose group of animals on our planet. Um, over 80% of all described animal species are arthropods, or what we call colloquially uh, are bugs. So everything on this little slide 
uh, from the diptera, the purple slice there, going clockwise all the way around to other arthropods, those are what we're going to consider bugs. And you can see what a big slice of the pie of animals we are, uh, animals they are. Uh, vertebrate animals like ourselves are just in that little red slice next to them called chordate. So it really is an amazingly diverse group. And we're going to just basically, you'll just get exposed to the tip of the iceberg of this diversity, but it's something we really want to uh, celebrate in our festival. Uh, Culture-wise, we have so many insects uh, and bugs that, uh, whether it's literature, I uh, just pulled out some examples uh, that you probably might be familiar with, uh, insect theme or bug theme literature, comics, television, movies, um, cartoons, even video games. Uh, so I know many people, a really popular right game is Animal Crossing. And one of the things that people love to collect in Animal Crossing are bugs. And they're new bugs that are introduced every week. And a lot of those are actual bugs. And in many cases, we actually have counterparts of those um, uh, bug groups that occur here in Alabama that you'll learn a little bit that, uh, through our event. So I'll turn it over to Allie, who's going to talk a little bit about the content we're going to do uh, for the Bug Fest. Um, so Allie, want to say something about some of these items I've got listed here? Yeah. So um, Bama Bug Fest this year being an all virtual one, um, again, we were given the chance to kind of explore our creativity and think of lots of different content. So we needed a lot of days to fill all this content. Um, or for to, to have all that content be available online. So this year, uh, Bama Bug Fest is a three week long event starting today and ending on July uh, 25th. We will uh, be posting three times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And each of those days we'll be posting four times a day at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 7 p.m. And all of these times are central standard time. So if you're visiting, us uh, from somewhere else in the country, make sure to um, know that we are on central time. Um, there is something for everyone. We really wanted to make sure that everyone, all age groups would have um, content that was interesting to them and something that they would they would enjoy. So there's stuff for kids all the way up to adults. Um, and, you know, just yeah, every day. And usually the 10 a.m. ones are usually for the younger kids. Um, and the 4, 2 and 4 p.m. are usually for the older ones, but everyone can watch all of them and, and I think really get some enjoyment out of all the segments. Um, each day at 7 p.m., we are going to end with a daily wrap up. And the daily wrap up is a way for the experts from the day to come back to our uh, Bama Bug Fest event and then answer any questions that have come up throughout the day. So if you have questions on anything that you're seeing, feel free to comment in the comment section of wherever you're watching them. And we can pull those questions and ask the experts at the end of the day. We can also do them live. So if you watch the daily wrap up at the end of our posting day and you have questions about some of the things that um, we, the, some of the content that was shown that day, you can ask those questions live and we can pull and, and, and uh, pose them to the experts to get an answer in real time. So um, we are also, not only do we have all this really wonderful comment or content that's going to be happening throughout the month, but we also have three other, um, uh, I guess, elements to the event that are happening throughout the month. So one of them is our resource guide. Uh, you can find it online at the Bama Bug Fest website. But the resource guide is an excellent way to delve a little bit deeper into these topics. If there is, if you are really interested in one of the segments that we have, one of the videos that are coming up, you can um, visit this resource guide and get a little bit more information on that topic. If you're just interested in bugs in general and want to learn more beyond what we have out in the uh, as part of the event. You can visit this resource guide and um, have access to different books that can be read, different podcasts, different videos, articles. I mean, just a ton of different things. So this resource guide is an excellent place for you to visit, um, as well as visiting all the content that's coming out for Bama Bug Fest. And it'll be available um, throughout the event. Um, week by week. So you'll be able to see it. It's kind of um, organized into weeks for the event. Now, the other thing that we have going on that's really exciting is a virtual exhibit. So as John mentioned from last year, we had this wonderful artwork that was on the walls at the Transportation Museum for the event. And um, this year we had planned on having another um, 
artwork, another exhibit out at the Transportation Museum as well. But because we're virtual, we were able to take that exhibit and go online. So um, the uh, exhibit is about um, insects. It's about details of, of um, yeah, details and seeing the, the hidden secrets of bugs. And it is a, a, an a exhibit that UA students put together in a class that they were having with uh, Kendra Abbott. And there's, it's a lot of close up pictures of, of insects and just the, I, like, how that photography setup works. It's a beautiful exhibit. Um, if you have a chance to check this out, this is also available on the Bama Bug Fest website. And um, you can see all these great images, learn about the students that were a part of the exhibit and the class. And then also at the very end, there's a little video of some behind the scenes footage, which is really interesting, that um, just kind of gives you a, a perspective on how these images were taken. So that's our second thing. And then our third thing is an art contest. So we are um, really excited about this one. We have a Bama Bug Fest on the web art contest. You can, um, well, so the contest is open for K through adults. We have four um, age groups. We have a K through third, fourth through eighth, ninth through 12th grade, and then those who were out of high school, no matter how long that's been. Um, and so you are, we are encouraging people to create art that is bug themed. So just go nuts. And you know, we've got lots of really great content coming up. If you feel inspired by any of the things that, the content that we've got, um, go ahead and put your creative foot forward and, and you can use any medium that you like um, to create these insect themed art pieces. Now we will be, um, choosing well let me get it back so you go ahead and submit your art the artwork submission starts today and ends on the 17th and then um the last week of bama bug fest the week of the 20th to the 25th we will um, be posting um, some of the images that have been chosen by the events committee the bama bug fest event committee to the web for a public vote. And the one with the most uh, likes on the social media pages that we put them on uh, will win. And we will have one winner per age category. So all of these submissions that we have that come through this um, uh, form, which you can find on the Bama Bug Fest website, all of those will be um, considered by the Bama Bug Fest event committee. And then based on the rules that we have outlined on the competition, which you will see on the, on the form, we will decide and whittle down to five for each age group and then post them online for a public, um, public vote, which is really exciting. So we're really um, hoping that you get inspired by some of this uh, content that's coming up and encourage you to submit and, and join the art contest. Now, art contest winners will be put into a print publication, the uh, Museums Chronicle, which is a quarterly print pu publication from the UA Museums. Um, and then also, you know, we'll have uh, be recognized online um, on our social media sites and websites as winners for the contest. So um, we hope that you enjoy it and that you get a chance to submit. We're looking forward to it. Um, one submission per person, um, but we're looking forward to seeing all of your art and, and um, getting to know all of your great talent. Yeah, hey, I'm just holding up a picture of our most recent. Um, oh yeah, with featuring uh, someone. This is this is perfect for Bama Bug Fest because uh, on the cover is Dr. Ed Wilson, who is a very famous uh, entomologist. He's a world authority on ants, who happens to be uh, from Alabama and is a UA alum, and is someone who we are is near and dear to our hearts. And uh, I would love to have him involved, maybe at a future event. But uh, you know, there's so many. Again, this you know. People think about UA, they think about football, but this is one of our legends, uh, an entomologist who uh, came through the University of Alabama and we have specimens uh, he collected in our museum collection here at UA. All right, anything else, Sally, before we move on? I think, I think that might be it. There's a lot happening. There's a lot to do over the month of July. Lots of insects to be had. Okay, Rebecca, if you can put me back on my, my screen presentation. Um, you know, one of the nice things, you know, again, that the virtual bug fest, at least transforming to a virtual festival has its challenges, but ultimately it, it's given us some opportunities. And one of those has been the opportunity. We've always relied heavily on local 
uh, staff, particularly those at UA museums and, and the libraries, both the university libraries and Tuscaloosa libraries. But this year, we've really reached out to a broader community. Um, some of our staff members are really into comic books, and they've reached out to um, friends of theirs that they knew in that worked in, in some capacity. So we've got uh, Justin Leak, an actor who plays Helgermine on Supergirl. Uh, we've got uh, Andrea Towers, a Black Widow cosplayer. Um, We've got a ca cartoon artist, uh, Rebecca, uh, sorry, Sarah Louver. Um, we've got an ar ar arachnologist, a spider expert, Dr. Sebastian Echeverry, and another cosplayer, uh, Spider-Man, as long as our a local school roots group. So uh, these are people that, um, at least several of them, we probably couldn't get here, but because we're virtual, we've actually worked with them, and uh, they've been really excited about joining us. So uh, this was something that I think uh, I'm really happy about because it, it was all an idea and it's actually all come to, come to fruition. So uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it as much as we did putting the content together. Is there anything else you wanted to say about any of the, the guests, Allie or, or Rebecca? Uh, I'll, I'll just chime in. Uh, so Sarah Louver is a comic. Uh, oh, and then finally, let's wait till this Duncan. comes up. Uh, in addition, I'm going to have a kind of, in addition to our official art contest, I'm also going to, uh, oh, actually, I can't hear you, Rebecca. Whoops, you came up and you you pop back out, so I'm not sure. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's you can a, pop back in at the way. end if you do if you want to say something. But okay. anyway, um, in addition to the official contest that Ali mentioned, um, I want to take an opportunity to kind of use social media. I mean, again, we're on the web. It only makes sense that we really. Um, utilize social media. People use social media for so many reasons. Um, I am always looking at for insect themed stuff on social media. So I really want to encourage anyone that um, views our content to share their love of bugs by using the hashtag Bama Bug Fest. And if you create original artwork, your favorite memes, favorite bug jokes, maybe some photos of bugs you've taken uh, in the coming weeks, share that on whatever platform you like and use the hashtag Bama Bug Fest. Uh, between July 7th and the 25th, when those are the dates of uh, our event, um, weekly I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna choose uh, my favorites and reward you with some top picks and you can um, win some sweet stickers. I've actually got, I'll hold up my little water bottle here in a second. Um, so you can see what that looks like. And I have a limited number of um, two stickers. We have the original Bama Bug Fest sticker designed by uh, the artist Thomas Shahan. Uh, it features um, a local beetle um, the uh, male of the uh, stag beetle, giant stag beetle. And then the other, we have a limited number of these uh, jumping spider Black Lives Matter sticker designed by Dr. Sebastian uh, Echeverry, who is going to be one of our speakers, uh, our guest speakers for one of our live streams. And he created this great sticker. He studies communication in jumping stickers. So I've got a limited number of both of these. Um, and if you're interested in the chance to win some of these for free, um, just use that Bama Bug Fest hashtag on your social media. And we may, I may actually share some of those as well uh, throughout our event. And again, it's just a way for the community to connect uh, through their favorite social media channels. So I think that's all I had to say, Ali. I don't know if you've got anything else. Um, if not, we'll open it up. Oh, actually, whoops, I just forgot. Um, I might as well let Ali talk a little bit about um, our schedule uh, for this week. So the remaining schedule for today on Thursday and on Saturday. So go ahead, Allie. Perfect. Over. I would like to shout out those insect memes that are a part of your presentation, John. You curated them well. I, I'm guilty of this. I, I really <laughs> love this kind of stuff. Uh, hint, hint, uh, people that post things like this on social media, there's a good chance they're going to get some stickers. <laughs> <laughs> it is a celebrated art form for sure. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Bama Bug Fest, this is week one. Today's the first day. We're really, really exciting, excited. Um, so week one, again, like the other weeks, we'll be posting today, Tuesday, on Thursday, and then on Saturday as well, um, 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and 7 p.m. Today, we have our introduction, which you're at right now. So hello, welcome. Um, at 2 p.m., we have our very first story time with uh, TPL, the Tuscaloosa Public Library. We'll, they'll be reading a book called Some Bugs by author Angela Ditzelary. And uh, then there is a Build a Bug workshop after, which I'm really excited for all of you to see. Uh, the Tuscaloosa Public Library um, put together this really wonderful Build a Bug workshop um, that, that you'll meet her, Sadie. She actually hand drew 
the uh, images that are being used for it. So that's really cool. Hey, Allie, um, just to interrupt you for a second. I encourage yeah. you to go to our uh, BamaBugs.org website and download the PDF ahead of time. Um, so if you want to follow along in, in the activity, you can download and print out the uh, bug parts uh, and cut those out so you have them handy. If not, you can always download them later and, and watch the, all these, everything will be that, even a live stream will be recorded so you can watch it at any time, uh, even after the live stream posts. Yes, absolutely. Yes. And um, and at four o'clock, we have you'll see uh, Dr. Friel again for what is a bug where he goes into all things insects and just kind of under uh, or gives a, a nice base understanding of what an insect and what a bug is. And then at seven is our very first daily wrap up where you'll see myself, you'll see John and you'll see Sadie um, out there again and talking about, you know, the content that had been posted the day and any questions that might have popped up for that day um, and any questions that pop up during the live stream. So that's happening today. The next day is Thursday. On Thursday, we have um, our first um, or well, our first not in Alabama, I guess, guest speaker. Um, we have a, a, a drawing lesson from uh, DC Comics artist Sarah Louver, learn how to draw Spider-Man, which is really exciting. Uh, that's at 10 a.m. Uh, at two, we have the first of three, which we're really excited about these two uh, live streams called A Comic Book Expert, A Scientist, and Spider-Man Walked Into a Live Stream. We'll be talking to Spider-Man one day and then two others that uh, you can see on the schedule on other days. But um, we'll have comic book experts, we'll have a, a, an arachnologist, and we'll have Spider-Man coming in to talk about Spider-Man and how Spider-Man... Um, relates to real world, you know, or real world examples of spiders and talk about the comic book world of Spider-Man. And it's just going to be a really great conversation. So that's at two. And then at four, we have um, eight-legged facts about spiders with Dr. Friel and spiderly speaking with Dr. Ruth, which is a really exciting one. Um, Dr. Ruth comes to talk a little bit about how spiders make other spiders, which is really neat. And then uh, we will also have uh, at seven another daily wrap up where the experts come back again and, and answer the questions from the day. Now our Saturday one for this week, um, we will have at 10 a.m. we'll have a terrarium building lesson with uh, Pam Sloan from Discovering Alabama. She'll teach you how to build a bug jar and talk about what a terrarium is. And then we'll have a virtual hike that you can come along with me actually. Um, along a, a local area, a local um, hiking path that you can see. And, and, and I will be utilizing the same bug jar that we created with Miss Pam. So it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a fun one to join in. At two, uh, we'll be working with entomologist, Dr. Megan Pimsler uh, for there's a bug under a log on the trail in the woods. And we'll talk about um, if you've ever been on a hike before and flipped a, a dead you know, log that's starting to decay, just looking at everything that's underneath there and talking about what that little ecosystem is like. And then at four, um, it'll be You Light Up My Life, the flashy fireflies one, a bug, uh, or a video dedicated to just fireflies, which is exciting because they are definitely a part of our summer world. And then at seven, another daily wrap up where we'll have uh, experts come back. If the experts aren't able to come back for our seven o'clock one and we have some questions that are for them, we make sure that we get the questions to them and have an answer to you as soon as we can. So um, yeah, I think it'll be it'll be a fun bug filled week, don't you think, John? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to. It. Like I said, we had so many ideas, and you know, we couldn't do everything this year that we wanted, but we still have amazing content. You know, I think we've actually created uh, things that even when in the future, when we go back to having a physical uh, festival, we might still continue to do some of this online content. I think uh, th this has been so exciting, uh, and I really like how some of the uh, programming has turned out. Yeah, me too. I agree. Um, I'm going to leave the remaining time we have for questions. So um, looking through the comments, if Rebecca wants to chime in with any particular questions, um, like I said, there'll be multiple times. Um, during most of the live streams, we'll have opportunities uh, where the public can ask questions to the presenter. Um, there's a question and answer at 7 p.m. every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. And you can always email us as well. My email's up there. Um, you can email me and I will be helpful. Sometimes I won't know the answer, but I can usually point you in the right direction uh, to where you can find it. There are so many resources online. We do have um, some real entomologists uh, that work here at UA that can uh, answer your question as well. So 
Allie, do you see any questions or Rebecca? Yeah, I haven't seen any questions yet on the comments. Um, you know, if you are watching today, don't have any questions just yet, but have questions later, feel free to continue to add to this comments or continue to add comments to this this video if you'd like. We don't have any at the moment, John, but um, I do think that there's a chance that, um, Rebecca, did you wanna say something about some of the guests that we have that are coming on? Yeah, I just wanted to uh, remind people that uh, when uh, Sarah Louver teaches uh, everybody how to draw uh, Spider-Man and Bumblebee, uh, they can share their artwork with us that way. If they, uh, if you want to tweet or uh, share it on Facebook with uh, the hashtag Bama Bugfest, uh, we'll we'll get to see uh, your work after you uh, get uh, tutored by Sarah, who's such a great teacher. Uh, I am a terrible artist; I cannot draw anything, but uh, Sarah. Uh, did uh, guide me through how to draw Spider-Man and it lo it looked like Spider-Man. So uh, it's a really fun uh, lesson and she'll be uh, doing uh, Spider-Man as well as Bumblebee. So if you have a preference, Marvel, DC, uh, we're doing both. So uh, no worries about that. Um, but yeah, so if you wanted to share any of the, the artwork that you draw after you learn how to draw with Sarah, uh, that would be great. And um, yeah, I'm really excited um, about uh, all of our guests. Um, uh, Justice League, uh, I don't think we mentioned he played Helgramite on the CW Supergirl. So he was kind of a bad guy. He was a villain. Uh, but uh, but I think that'll be really cool to hear his experience about uh, what he did to maybe prepare for that or what he knows about Helgramites and what he knows about those bugs. Maybe we can help him prepare. He's, he's kind of been a recurring guest on the show. Uh, so maybe, maybe he can take that with him next, next time he, uh, goes to cause some trouble on Supergirl. So, uh, I, that, that was all kind of, I, I wanted to mention for, for those aspects. That's great. Thank you. Um, and I think one thing that we've sort of talked about, but haven't um, maybe explicitly said, but some of these, some of the content that we have is gonna be live, like what we're doing right now. And then some of them will be videos that have been content that's been created by the partner organizations that we mentioned at the beginning of this presentation um, that will be posted at those times that we mentioned. Um, but all of them, you know, we are always monitoring the comments and always trying to keep up to date with all the questions or, or comments that you have. Um, so whether they're live or not, please feel free to interact with them and comment with them um, and uh, we should be good to go. Oh, this one. Okay, so any recommendations as far as supplies for the terrarium building workshop? So we will have um, a supply list that's for that coming out pretty soon um, that uh, you can, you know, have, it'll be on the Bama Bug website. Um, so go ahead and keep an eye on that um, for in the next couple of days and we'll have that terrarium building um, lesson up. And again, remember, you know, if you're not able to make it for that terrarium building lesson at 10 a.m. on Saturday um, and are would like to see it another time. All of these videos are going to be archived so that you can access them at any time. They'll be archived on all of these social media pages um, and on the YouTube channels. Wherever you are watching this video right now, there will be an archive of that video of the video that you're watching and all of the other ones for Bama Bug Fest. So we are all over social media and YouTube, both with UA museums and all of those social media pages that we mentioned, as well as the Tuscaloosa Public Library social media pages and YouTube channel. So there's lots of great places to access the content. All of those places have the same content. So there's, uh, you know, hopefully it will be kind of easy to find um, and, and interact with, but also make sure to continue to go back to this bamabugfest.org. That's kind of the hub where all the buzzworthy absolutely meant to say that all the buzzworthy content will be found and um, information about the event will be kind of kept up to date. All right. Um, but yes, yeah, so keep an eye out for that supply list. Um, thank you for commenting. All right, John, do you have anything else? Great. I just, I just realized, Allie, that there's a Yeah. Hey, Allie, just one other thing. Um, can you hear me, Allie? Actually, I can. Um, um, I was going to say, if you want to plug something about some of the other content coming up, um, we've got some stand-up comedy. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we do. So we have a stand-up comedy night that's coming up. Uh, it'll, it'll be family-friendly bug-themed comedy. Just, we're excited about that, too. Um, we've got a couple more of those um, comic book expert scientist and um a cosplayer or a character walk into a live stream ones we'll be doing one with helgramite and one with black widow um we have uh 
lesson on composting that's going to be coming up. We've got a lesson on or a, a video on um, beekeepers. If you've ever been interested in uh, beekeepers, we've got one of those coming up. Um, there is just a lot. We, we tried really hard to cover as many bases as possible. Um, and I think we did pretty well. I know there's a lot of content and I know John was saying before that we didn't get a chance to fit everything in that we wanted to, which is true, um, but we were able to fit in a few of them. So hopefully it'll be, you know, enough to, hopefully it'll have something that piques your interest. Oh, and one more thing, I don't know if we've mentioned, but every one of our nine days that we have uh, scheduled for, for content is themed. So um, today is, you know, what makes a bug a bug on Thursday, it's into the Spider-Verse. So it's all Spider-related stuff. Um, and on Saturday, it's taking a hike and under a log. So it's what you find when you're outside hiking or when you flip a log. So um, be sure to check out that Bama Bug Fest for, a, there's a, we've got the, the week's schedule kind of typed out for you, but then we also have a, a, a link where you can download the PDF of the complete schedule so that you can see what's upcoming. Um, we highly recommend and encourage you to check that out and, and, and find a day of something that you're interested in. Um, and then even some ones that maybe you weren't sure if you'd be interested in, just go ahead and jump into all of it. Cause we think that, um, we think that you might really enjoy what's, what's happening. Um, but yeah, I think, I think, there's there's just so much that it's really hard to put into words everything that's coming out so make sure to check out that schedule all right is there uh, anything else uh, that we need to cover <laughs> okay thanks Allie. um i don't know if there's anything else rebecca if not we can wrap things up all right well i will uh take no, us out of here yeah, I'll, uh, I'll uh, take us out of here and uh, we'll uh, wrap it up for this uh, introductory live stream here for Bama Bugfest on the web. Uh, as a reminder, uh, like they uh, were mentioning, content appears at 10 a.m., 2 p.m., 4 p.m., and there's a daily wrap up at 7 p.m. where you can uh, interact with the uh, experts and ask questions if you have any. All of those times are central standard uh, time zone. So uh, just keep that in mind. And as a reminder, if you're not able to join us for the, the live presentations uh, like we're doing right now, you can always go back and watch uh, anything that we're doing on YouTube at the UA Museum's YouTube channel or the Tuscaloosa uh, Public Library YouTube channel. Or you can check out all of our Facebook pages, uh, the Alabama Museum of Natural History, the Mildred Westervelt Warner Transportation Museum, the Tuscaloosa Public Library. I think those are all the Facebook pages. Uh, so if you are... Um, wanting to go back and watch something or if you miss something you can go back and check them out there all of the ways to watch are going to be on bamabuckfest.org so if you need any of those links they're going to be there uh, we also do have that handy resource guide on the bamabuckfest.org website as well as well as a full schedule of events like ali mentioned so you can definitely go check out uh, bamabuckfest.org for all of your questions i'll put it up there in case you need it um, so if you do have any questions or if you want to learn more about what we're doing, you can go there. So as always, we want to thank the collaborating partners for making this event happen. And a thank you to uh, Allie and for uh, Dr. Friel for uh, helping guide us through the uh, introduction here today. Uh, so thank you for your time and uh, for sharing your uh, your work with Bama Bug Fest with us. So, all right. Well, everybody, uh, see you next time for Bama Bug Fest on the web. <laughs>